Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Wheels No Heels. I hope you're doing so, so great today. I wanted to film a video about choosing a wheelchair because I have made a very costly mistake in the past by purchasing a wheelchair that wasn't quite right for me and I would hate that to happen to somebody else. So having chosen a few wheelchairs over the years, I thought that I would give you my top tips on choosing a wheelchair for yourself. <laughs> know I've been using a wheelchair since the age of nine so that is quite a long time so I'd like to think that I could give you some good tips. Um, when I was younger there wasn't any YouTube around um, so I'm tr really trying to make videos that I would have liked if YouTube was around back then. So please if you have any suggestions as to videos that you would like me to make for the future just let me know, drop a comment down below or message me on Instagram. Now I can understand that this is probably going to be one of the most important purchases that you are ever going to make. Not only that, if it's your first wheelchair, it might be one of the hardest things that you've got to do and that you've got to accept. But what you've got to remember that this wheelchair is there to help you, it's your lifeline, it's going to give you that quality of life that you need so you can go out there and you can be the best that you can be. Overcoming that is really really hard and I have been in that position and I totally resented it and I know how hard it is. Um, I don't want to dwell on that too much because maybe that's a video for another day but once you've got past that I'm going to give you the tips that you really should think about before you purchase your wheelchair. So the first one you need to consider is should I have a manual wheelchair or an electric wheelchair? Now this is something only you can decide and I know on some bad days I think man I'd quite like to have an electric wheelchair but I feel like I want to use everything that I've got while I've got it. I just don't think it's quite for me yeah. So, once you've decided whether it is manual or electric, you are going to have to decide what kind of budget you're going to have. Um, and let me tell you, for those of you who don't know, wheelchairs are eye-wateringly expensive. <laughs> so yeah, you need to dec decide how much you want to spend and then that will really determine what kind of chair you can get. Now I've got two wheelchairs here that I'm going to show you. This wheelchair here is a Da Vinci rigid frame wheelchair and this one here is a carbon fibre Velosa wheelchair and when you've discovered what kind of budget you're going to have you can then ask yourself what kind of metal are you going to go for um, m choosing the metal is a really important thing because that can determine the weight so you can go for aluminium, titanium um, or carbon fibre titanium is obviously super duper strong carbon fibre is just insane because it is super duper light and super super strong which is why they make F1 cars out of them and all sorts of exciting things but then that could be a lot more exciting expensive. This wheelchair behind me here, this is um, an aluminium frame and is considerably heavier than this one here which is carbon fibre and I I really love it. You also will want to decide whether you want a rigid frame or a folding frame. This one here is a rigid frame which means that the wheels come off and the backrest goes down and that is it. And that can be quite tricky when you're traveling or if you're going on coaches and stuff, they're like, that's it. And it's like, yeah, that, that's it. <laughs> so it takes up a lot of space. Um, however, with the rigid frame, you can take the wheels off and then when you're getting in your car, transfer it into your car and kind of pull it over you, which I'm sure you've seen. Whereas with the folding wheelchair, folds up in the middle and the wheels come off as well. Um, it makes life a lot easier for other people and storage and things like that or if you're putting it in a boot. Um, I found this to work really really well for myself and my lifestyle. Another thing to consider when you're purchasing a wheelchair is the kind of tyres that you want. 
there are solid tyres which won't get punctures or they are these ones that I've got on both of these chairs which are the marathon tyres which I found to be great. Question, you know, your kind of lifestyle, if you're going off-roading and things like that you might want to get thicker, more durable tyres, um, if it's just sort of every day around the houses, things and like that then these marathon plus ones are perfect. Another thing that you can think of is the brakes, again you're going to have to question you know, how your um, wrists move and your hands move and how dexterous you are, um, but with both of these I've got the scissor hideaway brakes. Another really important thing is see how it fits in your car, this is like number one, um, whether it's going to go in your boots or you're going to put it over you or you're going to put it on the back seat. Um, if you're going to get a rep coming out to you who's going to show you these things, they should be able to give you one similar to try out and give a go in the car as well. So another really important thing is your cushion. Um, if you suffer with pressure sores and things like that, you can get specially adapted cushions to really help and alleviate with that. Or you can have memory foam cushions or normal foam. I'm personally just in a normal foam cushion, which is kind of contoured, and I find that to be really, really comfortable. Obviously make sure that you take into account the, um, the thickness of the cushion. So if you're sat in a wheelchair and you're being measured for your leg measurement, and the cushion you're in is only two inches but you go and choose a cushion that's three inches thick then make sure you take that into consideration because otherwise your feet are going to touch the bottom which could be really costly and really tricky <laughs> another really important thing which i've really only sort of discovered as the years have gone on is the backrest height this wheelchair here has a higher back than this one and this wheelchair um, has an adjustable back so it can go higher um, but it can't go that low and I have discovered over the years that I actually prefer to have my backrest quite low I find that to be more comfortable and I also find that it's good for flirting as well because you can sort of lean back on the armrest and go like hey yeah how's it going kind of thing um, so yeah, I much prefer to have a low backrest. In all seriousness, it is more comfortable personally for me. And something you may want to consider, you might want to go for an adjustable backrest first of all, find out what kind of height you like, um, and then as you move on and you need a new wheelchair, then you'll know exactly what kind of height to go for with the backrest. Your foot plate is quite an important thing to think about. Um, both of these foot plates are pretty standard and you might need, depending how paralysed your legs are, you may need straps around the back to support your legs to stop them falling off if you're um, going over cobbled stones. I know that sometimes happens to me which is really annoying um, and you might want um, hooks around the back of the foot plate to hold your feet in place. Another thing that I've never really been a fan of but I know some people have um, and that is an armrest. I just find that that's another thing to get in the way. Um, so I don't have an armrest because it makes transferring really, really tricky. Um, and depending the level of your injury, you may need the armrests to sort of hold you in place. Personally, if you don't need an armrest, I don't think that they're the best things. Not a fan of the old armrest, got to say. I'd much rather lean on the back and be like, eh. Well, um, another thing that I have sort of discovered over the years is the position of the legs. So, um, I don't know if you can see, but both of these wheelchairs, they sort of come out at an angle. You can see that they come out like this. I find that that is so much more comfortable to have your legs coming out at an angle rather than coming down at a right angle. Um, because personally for me, I have found that it's works wonders for my circulation which is really really poor um, and it's just a lot more comfortable. Uh, one thing that I will say though is if you've got long legs um, sometimes if it's too long it can make down curves especially quite tricky um, because sometimes it can just hit the foot plate can just hit on the ground and then you can't sort of lever yourself away so that is something to consider. Cosmetically with this wheelchair which love <laughs> Um, I went I went all out and went for the spinnergy wheels, which are like the wheels to have in the wheelchair world, I, I, I think anyway, <laughs> correct me if I'm wrong, but I love them, um, they come in all different colours, they're not cheap, but I just think that they sort of add that sporty vibe and they just kind of make me feel a bit more confident in the wheelchair as well. Whereas this one is a bit sort of standard kind of looking. These spinnergy wheels are really, really strong. Um, the other wheels that came with this wheelchair 
or as an option were carbon fiber just three um spokes and i was like mate i've got to have those those look insane but the one thing that they did say was they were carbon fiber so if anything was to go wrong with them and they were to crack that would be it you can't fix them you would just have to have a whole new set of wheels and that was nearly a thousand pounds just for the wheels so i was like uh no I, I, i'll cope without those things so yeah that's always worth considering the repair costs of things as well another thing which you can see on both of these ones they have the pushing handles I personally think they look super uncool and I really don't like having them on there and like if I'm taking Instagram pictures I'm just like jot them down, jot them down, I don't like them or take them off um, but yeah I am so weak I can't push myself for really really long distances and if we're going out all day I will definitely need someone to help me and give me a push so I have to have the pushing handles these ones that I've got here are pretty um, standard ones they're adjustable so you kind of unscrew it and then they pop up and um, yeah they are what they are they do what they do and that's it I think you can have some pushing handles which are permanently attached to the back but obviously because I've got a low backrest then that would mean I've got some people pushing me like this and my poor dad's six foot four so it wouldn't be particularly pleasurable um, or any bloke really not that I have lots of blokes pushing me around. Then that's something to consider. Oh, one thing that I totally love and highly recommend because they're so much fun is these wheels. See that? As you roll, they sparkle up. Oh, they literally make my life. <laughs> so sad, but I love them. Um, and they weren't really at any extra cost. Or well, you can get them from scooter shops. They're just scooter wheels. They light up at night. People are like, oh my god, it's like the coolest thing I've ever seen. And you're like, thanks. <laughs> I think that's it. I can't think of anything else that you might want to consider. Um, if you have got any ideas, then please pop them below so everybody can share. Make sure you share this with any other wheel babes or wheel guys who might find this video useful. I think that's all. Thank you so much for watching, if indeed you still are. And um, make sure that you push the old thumbs up and you subscribe if you haven't already. That's it. Thank you so much for watching and I really hope to see you in my next video. Bye! <laughs>